Hey, welcome, everybody. Welcome to The Tonight Show. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Well, guys, uh, this is big. Today, President Biden gave U.S. intelligence agencies 90 days to find out exactly how COVID started. Yeah. Biden was like, if you can find a fiancé in 90 days, you can find the truth about COVID. <laughs> I believe it. It's worth a shot. I mean, if you've learned anything from Marvel movies, everyone loves a good origin story, yeah. you know? And I'm excited because they've already cast Timothy Chalamet to play young COVID. So that's going to be cool. Yep, Biden wants the COVID origin story now. And then in 10 years, he wants a COVID reunion on HBO Max. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this will end with us tracing COVID back to the same lab that came up with the McRib. <laughs> I love this. It's in the shape of a rib, isn't it? Rib-ish. Rib-ish, right? Yeah. Like bone-in? No. It looks like a bone in rib. Like, it looks like the thing that flipped over Fred Flintstone's car. Exactly. That big, like a Bronto rib. I love it. Uh, here's some more big news. Last night, it came out that a grand jury is hearing evidence against former President Trump and could indict him. Ooh. Yep. Trump knew he was in trouble when he called his lawyer, and the FBI answered Rudy's phone. <laughs> You're being recorded. We know a trial is close when the courtroom sketch artist goes to Michael's and says, give me all the orange crayons you have. It's going down. It's going down. Of course, Trump responded to the news in his official statement. He said, it's a total witch hunt. Then he added, I'm completely innocent. <laughs> and finally he said, now, if you excuse me, I have to catch a flight to Mexico. <laughs> He's innocent. Some news from the UK. Apparently, at the start of the pandemic, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson wanted to be injected with COVID on live TV so people could see there's nothing to be scared of. <laughs> Once again, no good idea has ever started with, I'm going to inject myself. <laughs> Boris was like, in hindsight, it was stupid. <laughs> and then opened a Starbucks bathroom door with his mouth. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, guys, as we head into summer, I read that there's already a big shortage of fireworks. That's not good, because the only thing worse than mixing booze and fireworks is mixing booze and bootleg fireworks. That's what I said. <laughs> I don't know what the heck it does. Just light it. <laughs> don't go near it. All right, one selfie. That's it. Then, then don't touch it. Oh, look, the dog's playing with it. Oh, that's fine. Or take it out of his mouth. Some guys are going to be like, oh, I guess we could just deep fry a turkey and hope for the worst. Uh, listen to this. In Virginia, a man created a COVID-safe way for people... To... I love inventions. Yeah. I love inventions. You do. They're my favorite. I really do. So this, this man in Virginia created a COVID-safe way for people to blow out birthday candles. Oh. By inventing a device, it's called the, the Blowsy. <laughs> I think it's a good idea, but I'm not sure I want the word Blowsy showing up on my credit card statement. <laughs> And get this, I read that over a million dollars worth of cocaine tied to life jackets washed up on a beach in England. Police got to work on the case while the Sci-Fi Channel got to work on Cocaine Shark. <laughs> I'd, watch, I'd watch Cocaine Shark. Yeah. Uh, finally, new research estimates, uh, estimates that the oldest maximum age humans can live is 150 years. Right now, there's a 149-year-old who's like, I thought I'd have more time. <laughs> Guys, a lot of people are talking about President Biden's $1.7 trillion infrastructure plan. This, by the way, is my new voice. You like it? It's like, I like the black shirt, the black tie, and the smoky voice. It's almost like a, a new character. Yeah. It's a whole new me. Chip. Chip? <laughs> no, no, no. I think his name like Jack. Jack or Jake. Jack Fallon. Jake, Jake, Jake Fallon? Fallon? Is this a Jake Fallon or is Jack? I think it's Jake. Jake? Yeah. 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 <laughs> After every joke. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's a bluesy thing. <laughs> it's more like techno streets of Tokyo. Right, like you're gone, you're futuristic. Yeah, it's raining out. Right, like Blade Runner. It's raining out, a bunch of neon. Right. I'm gonna get you out of here!
Jake Fallon. <laughs> so anyways, I lost my voice the other night. So now, because I was singing with... When you have a sing-along with Dave Grohl, it's what happens. What a, better, what a better way to lose your voice. It's the best way to lose your voice. Anyways. I was yelling at my kids and I lost my voice. That's not fun. <laughs> it's not a, get out of here! It's not know, a like, charming story. Get off story. my lawn! <laughs> they were my kids. They were somebody else's kids. <laughs> yeah. And you call them your kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the neighborhood kids, you know. <laughs>